first one I'm going to do is a Frankenstein, Frankenstein inspired piece called, called My Dark Descent. I'm going to attempt it off script, but I have it here just in case. Tonight will mark my hundredth attempt to my inevitable success. It's been cloudy for days and thunder has started to roll. The only stores open are too poor to close. As I hand the merchant a couple pounds for the salt I'm purchasing, I contemplate my many failures. The state I let myself descend to achieve my goal of conquering everlasting life and to put animation back into the dead. I begin my walk home. Tiny droplets have started to paint the stone walk a deeper shade of gray. I recall the lonely lessons, nights I shut myself in to study. The glances thrown like daggers across the courtyard as I hauled my sack containing the stolen graveyard goods. The malicious whispers put onto my character by men only half driven by clumsy morals and ignorance who do not understand how God has blessed my dark passions with knowledge of pursuit. Who dare say the corpse is more dead when the souls of men I pass by are at varying stages of decay? Mm. Truth becomes the flies starting to collect, the father fighting the body, the black stones thrown declaring guilty. Truth is the dead man. Hope is the living incarnate, the lightning strike. Hope will encourage you to pull the lever, convince you that what comes back will be more than the man you knew. Hope will lift you up so high, you'll look down believing you're seeing heaven before crashing into the looking glass of hell. Mm. Though I know that what comes back can never equal the sum of each individual who unknowingly contributed to my creature, I know it'll be more than what they have been reduced to. And I refuse to be reduced to the monster you try to create. Tonight, as you cower under the covers, hold tight to your significant other, take refuge from the storm I prayed for. I will rise above righteousness, command the heavens and earth to bend in my metal flat fingers, stitch life into perfection, stitched up with ribbon. The wind shall purify my will with salt water and static, electrifying the borrowed blood in my creature's arteries. Let the veins of the universe flash brilliantly in the night sky, for only mortals deal in absolutes. And I would give my life to prove my worth. Though you, hope is a kind of denial that blinds me no longer. Though you may look to me declaring madmen, my sinister obsession knows the truth. And still, I hope for a better storm. I have one more for you that was a little bit of backstory. So there is a couple, a couple of weekends ago, I had a hockey tournament. So after playing three games, I then drove three hours in a storm to New Jersey for an open mic, where I met a, some wonderful poets from New Hampshire, one of them by the name of Kit, and they told me to say their name, so. <laughs> Came up to me and started challenging me, saying, what do, I, what do I say, what do you put into this? I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this. I put my blood into this. What do you put into this? So I sat down, and I wrote a response. Sometimes I want to die. Not because I want to die, sometimes I just need to sleep. The water pressure in my apartment has never been something to marvel at. Cloudy, not safe for drinking, faucet leaking. I wash my dishes in the shower with me. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, you see. So when you go to lay next to me, your fantasy, you do so gently, quietly, as if not to disturb your grave. And never mind the rhythmic chorus of water falling in my bathroom kitchen sink, because I never had anyone willing to support me. Forced to make the most out of every sidewalk encounter, to trust fall into oblivion, expected to turn a drop of advice into an ocean of material. Was it ambition or desperation 
that drove me to be haunted by a ghost still born next to me. I'll give you a quarter for any post-psychedelic experience that will show me the difference. And sinking into black holes and solid ground. Black holes, solid ground. You'll seek to judge by bloodstained calligraphy by asking, aren't you tired of walking in the seat? I'll chart a map to help you find where I left behind hope. But for now, here's my intentions. Drunk with hunger, wrapped in a blanket, the only thing I stole from childhood. And while high on Holy Ghost smoke, I see how the Colosseans have followed us, how, the, how every paradox is a product of the binary, how the drywall is crumbling from water damage. This isn't dandruff on my shoulders. Standing has become synonymous with drowning, solitude a kind of addiction, but these rituals only have meaning if you believe in them. In emerging from the dark matter, drenched in sweat for running in circles, Silence choking out whatever is left. I realized it was never about being perfect. It was about being good enough to be worth something. Yes, sometimes I want to die, and it's not always about sleep. But to answer your question of what I put into this, I don't bleed, I draw. <laughs> <laughs>